All right, hello everyone. So in this video, we're gonna be going over how to use the gamepad with Xebo. Now, the gamepad is used when you just wanna get going. Maybe you don't have your phone or you wanna be really quick with Xebo, and this is the fastest way to interact with Xebo. The functions are a little more limited, but you can still do a lot of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first of all power Xebo. Now here you can see I've got two batteries plugged into the side. We can also plug off the DC port, of course. Um, when you've plugged in any power at all, whether it's batteries or the DC, uh, you can uh, you, you need to wait about 15 seconds. The LCD on the side is going to come on, and then you're going to be able to use Xebo. Um, so once it's finished booting, uh, we are going to turn on the controller. Now, it is a Bluetooth controller, so all we have to do uh, is turn it on. When you buy Xebo, it comes pre-paired, so it's pre-set up uh, so that it is automatically paired with Xebo already. Um, although you can pair through the app as well, uh, if you wanna to pair to a new one, maybe you got a replacement or something or, or whatever the case is. Uh, so you can see that uh, the green light is blinked, which means we're connected and we're ready to go. That means that we're ready to drive Xebo. Uh, all right, so let's take a look. So first of all, we have the joystick uh, here. Uh, the first joystick on the left is for pan tilt. Uh, the joystick over here is for focus and zoom. Uh, and then finally, uh, the triggers are for the slider. So to allow us to slide back and forth. Um, so there's also a safety switch. So the first bumper here, the higher one, we need to be holding that down for Xebo to move. Now there are some things we can do. We don't have to hold it down all the time, but if we wanna jog it, we have to hold that. Um, so what we'll do is I'll hold that safety switch and I'm gonna jog Xebo. And you can see that now it's panning left and right. Uh, and that's just from me again, holding this and then jogging left and right. And then I can also go up and down to pan Xebo. And then I can use the triggers and slide from side to side. So that allows me to move Xebo. Now, some other controls really quickly. We have this button here, so left and right. Uh, so what I can do is I can click this and it's gonna put Xebo into high speed mode and go to the other end of the slider. Uh, again, the speed's gonna be different depending on how your slider's configured. And I can push the other side and it's gonna go in the other direction uh, and it's gonna move the other way. Uh, and then this big center pad I can use to stop anything, whenever I want. So whether I'm running a process, whether I'm running it from the app, I can always use this to stop whatever is going on. Now here we have a square and an X, which are used to save points. So by holding it down, I can save a point on this button and then use it to recall it later. So if I set a point here and I move up a little bit and then I'm gonna save it, you'll hear a beep and then you'll also see the controller go blue. And then let's say that I've moved and maybe done something and okay, and I wanna move back to that point. I can click the point and Xebo is gonna go and move back to that point. And this is really good if you're doing streaming and stuff like that. Um, but what we can also use it to do is for product photography and interviews, uh, anything where we need to repeat a motion. So what we'll do is we'll make another point. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and look, uh, I'm gonna look uh, in a different direction. I'm gonna do some tilting as well. Um, We'll keep going. And what I can do is I can also change the speed I'm jogging at. So these up and down buttons, I can use to change the jog speed. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll save this position on X. So now you can hear the beep. So now I have two positions. I have square, which is here. And then I have X, uh, which is here. Um, and I can change the speed uh, so that it's gonna move between those points a little slower. Um, and by hitting circle, what it's gonna do is it's gonna loop between those two points. So it's gonna keep moving between those points forever. So I'm gonna hit the circle button. Uh, and the first time it's just gonna move to the start position. So sometimes the first motion is not what you expect because it's just going to its first movement position. Um, and then once it gets there, uh, then we can run the keyframes. And this is the same as how keyframes is run in the app. And what you can see is that it's just repeating the same motion over and over again. You'll also notice that the blue light is blinking while it does this. Now I can use the up and down arrows uh, in order to speed up uh, or slow down my motion. So you can see now I'm going a little faster and then I can turn it down a bunch. And now you can see it's going very, very slowly. And this is useful if we're doing um, maybe a really slow product shot or we wanna do just a quick video time lapse. Uh, that's really good and then we can go back up to uh, uh, whatever our, our, our set speed is that we had uh, you know, originally. Um, again, if you want to stop it, you can hit the center pad and then you're good to go. There are also options to run tracking through the controller. We're not going to go over that in this video. This is just a quick getting started guide. Again, remember just real quick, you hold the left bumper uh, in order to move Xebo. Uh, you, um, you can use this stick to jog it left and right and up and down. And you can use the bumpers uh, to move the slider, or sorry, the triggers to move the slider. And then you can use this to go left and right. 
Um, so yeah, so that's everything for the joystick. Again, there are some functionality uh, for tracking uh, that are available on the joystick as well. Uh, please check out the tracking video ahead of time. It's good to really understand the tracking process before you do stuff like that. Uh, when you're done with Xebo, just power it down uh, and the controller is going to turn off automatically. You can also just hold down on this button to turn it off. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much.